All right, Gator, who's this Pokemon? It's not Skizzer. That's my guess. All right, we'll find out at the end of the episode. <laughs> I feel like you say that every time. I do. My disappointment <laughs> is immense and my day is ruined. Spooky Halloween Emerald Rom Hack. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Co Star. My name is the James Rolls. Hi, I'm Lady Garrett to you. James doesn't like me. Yeah, because you make tons of mistakes, and it, it makes me hurt being a Pokemon Master, the resident Pokemon Master on this channel. Why well, does think you're the Pokemon Master? Because I was playing this before you were born. Not this oh, game specifically, but Pokemon in general. Ah, oh, these Pokemon are cute! I love Plus and Rhinon! These are the ones that I actually recognize! Well, well, yes, but remember, you said in, like, episode 2 or 3 that you didn't know which one was technically which, even though it's obvious, since Plusel has a plus at the end on its tail, and Minin has a minus sign at the end on its tail, and on their cheeks. And obviously, they're red and blue, because, you know... Yeah, watching that, I was like, wait. Yeah, I was like, watching that... <laughs> watching that video, I was like, wait, I was... How, why did I say that? Like, it's obvious. Like, I don't know what. And Baby Nate's is making noise. <laughs> keep going, keep going. We're live. You're right, fine, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it all in, and she can get mad at me when she's older. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this yeah. is a double battle against Plusland Minin. It's almost. I actually don't know if the one double battle you already did is. No, I think you can do solo battle if you, like, talk to the one person on the side. Uh, but this is another basic tutorial-type situation for double battles. Because uh, they each have a plus one to mine in, and you basically get to fight them both at the same time. And, yeah, it's just basically a refresher on how double battles work. Uh, is water effective against electricity? No, it is not. Use your moves that have mud in the title. I always get those fixed up. That's one reason why I suck at Pokemon, is that type advantages, so I have a hard time remembering like a good chunk of them. I mean, they're not that hard. There's only like two that are confusing for like five-year-olds. I am a five-year-old. Uh, Alright. And this Mudshot should take out the Minin, which means you should only have another Plusle left to deal with, which shouldn't be too bad. The only reason why I know these, why I know these two is because of the fact that um, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl there was the Primai character file that was theorized to be Plusle Minin. Nerd. Right. Only nerds know that type right. of stuff. All right, gaming gallery scripts. I know all this crap. <laughs> and that's why I said nerd. It's my own paid job to do all that research. Except you're not paid. But I said unpaid. I'm an unpaid intern in my own company. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. The other. The other puzzle's been defeated, so you've defeated Caleb and Isabel. Who? Isabel. Yeah, yeah. Caleb. <laughs> the woman kind of looks like her sprite. The guy doesn't though, because he's not wearing a black shirt and he's not holding like a Pikachu doll. False advertising. How dare they! My magic carp got huge! That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, this is the trick house. It's not very important, but those sparkles basically means that's where the person is. So click on where the sparkle is, and there you go. I concealed myself beneath the desk. How did you know I was here? 
where I'm the greatest living mystery of our mind and all of Owen. They call me the Trick Master. Ha ha ha, glad to meet you. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Ether through the scroll there. Enter through the scroll there and let your Ether? challenge Ether? Ether through the skull. Oh. Squirrel. Shut up. I shall be waiting in the back. And like I was saying, this I'll house is not important. Don't do it. It'll waste time. And this series is already going to be 70 episodes, so... I think you get a rare candy your first time through, but that's, like, really it. Maybe a TM, but I think it's not an important one, so you can just ignore it. Dire hit, or candy. otherwise known as what the direct do? hit. I don't need you. You know, ever since they expanded the um, character limit for Pokemon in Generation 6, I think is when it first started, for Pokemon and items... I'm kind of surprised they didn't change Dire Hit to Direct Hit, because that's basically what it is. They just had it be shortened because of the character limit. Because they changed Paralyze Heal from its abbreviation to spell out Paralyze Heal, so... Surprised they never updated the Dire Hit item. Bit weird. It's kind of fun seeing old games and looking at what abbreviations they use for different things. Like, Earthbound Beginnings has some really funny ones because of their character limit. Hey! We gain 128 points! Divide by 2, you get 64! Just like the Tino 64! <laughs> Original jump to steal. Uh, double team. What does that do? It increases your evasiveness, which means you can avoid moves better, but honestly, if you're gonna get rid of it, get rid of Growl, but I don't think you'll want to keep it long term. Maybe for now, if you want to use that type of strategy stuff, but otherwise, just keep your moves. Because you'll probably end up replacing hey, it with something else later. This is Lucario's Dance Castle. Again, bringing Super Smash Brothers into these things. Man, <laughs> you it's, it's like that meme of people only knowing Captain Falcon for being a Smash character nowadays. That's basically you with Pokemon. <laughs> But yeah, uh, you can replace it with, like, Focus Energy or Growl if you want, but you'll probably end up replacing it again anyway in the future, so I probably wouldn't teach going, it. Are you going to yell at me if I don't learn it? No, because it's not Wing Attack. I haven't forgotten, Gator. Oh, man, I was hoping you would. <laughs> anyway, you ran into another Pokemon, but you can see that your rival is waiting for you because guess what gator it's time for a rival battle all right punk time to die hey may so i did his voice you remember hey okay. may so this is where you were hey may <laughs> you how's it going have you been raising your pokemon i'll check for you all right, so it's time for the next rival battle against Brendan. He has three Pokemon. First off is going to be Slugma. Slugma is a fire type. So I'd switch into Froggy if I were you, since it's super effective. Or Pika Blue. <laughs> yeah, switch into the level 9 Pokemon against a level 18 Pokemon. That'll work out well. <laughs> All right, Yawn is so a move. I have a move question for. Yes, go ahead. Uh, you go first. I was gonna say Yawn, which Slugma just used, will make your Pokemon the Pokemon it uses it on drowsy, which makes you fall asleep after a turn. So, as you can see now, Froggy is sleeping. So what were you gonna um, say? So this is like. Um, okay, first of all, um, does sleeping wear off after a bit, or do I need to use an item on that? If you wanted to use an item on it right away, you could. I don't think you actually have the item for it. No, you don't. Um, but sleep usually wears off between two to five turns. Yeah, boy. In later generations, so they added an of... ability to a Pokemon in which you can't fall asleep, which is quite awesome. Mm -hmm. If 
Finally you woke up, you lazy bum. Don't speak to Froggy that way. Alright, down goes Slogma. Wait, okay, I'm a little confused right here. Um, mouse points didn't do anything, but, mouse, but they still got experience points. When a Pokemon is in the battle, even if it's there for just a turn when you switch out with another Pokemon, the Pokemon that's in the battle, all, all the Pokemon that have been in the battle will gain experience points. Or if you have an <coughs> EXP share. This was the... This was the Pokemon at the... Ugh! Yeah, You don't... did it on purpose, didn't you? Yes. You did it on purpose, you jerk! Yes, yeah, say hello to not Skizor. <laughs> Also known as Grovile, the evolved form of Trico. I hate you. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a shame you don't have wing attack on mouse pants, because you're just going to have to use Peck. <laughs> Thankfully, it's still super effective. Oh, ooh, critical hit. Ouch. Wing attack would have got it down to red health or killed it, but you know. It's picking on me. <laughs> Cause it's very easy to pick on you. <laughs> you make it too why easy. Are you, why are you picking on me? You make it too easy. Another critical hit. Wow, jeez. Uh, you might be in trouble here, cause uh, you're four times weak to its grass type attacks. Um, and you don't have a revive, so, um, you're gonna probably have to do this battle again, Gator. I hate this game. Yeah, that absorb's gonna do more than half, which means it's probably, yeah, it's gonna be close to full again. At least using Mud Slap is gonna lower its accuracy, which is kind of a good sign for you. I'd use a potion, obviously, right now, just in case it does miss. And then, I guess, just keep going for mud slaps until it just misses forever and ever, as long as you survive and you don't get crickled. Hmm. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is stupid. I hate this game. I hate you. I hate Coca-Cola. I hate, uh... Get Pepsi Man. <laughs> wow. I jinxed you by mentioning the critical hit. Well, uh, Pika Blue is useless also because A, it's level 9, and B, it's also a water type. I told you not to have two water types on your team. But, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to so do I... this battle again. So, if I change game pack, does that count as a restore point? Uh, no. Blue doesn't even have any water attacks right now. Yeah, because it's level 9. This game sucks. I hate it. The series is over. We're it, moving on to whatever our next project uh, is. No, no, it's it's not, though. It, it's it's not. back over here! You're, you're the city right below where that route is, Gator. You're lucky you didn't have the Pokemon Center in Dooford. Yes, every time you lose a trainer battle, you lose money. I'd recommend actually doing a little bit of training in the grass before the rival battle, now that you know that some of the Pokemon that are gonna you're going to be dealing with. Can I buy any revives from the store? Uh, probably not. I think in later generations you would be able to right now, but I think in this generation it's still three gym badges. Yeah, it's still three oh, gym badges in these generations. That's actual garbage. What the hell kind of crappy game design is that? That's not... Gator, that's not crappy game design. That's actual challenge. It's not baby mode like later generations. It's actually really, really freaking stupid that you can't revive your Pokemon. Yeah, and you can. You just gotta go to a Pokemon Center until you get three gym badges. You to do, that forces you to do way too much trial and error for all this crap. You're trying to learn all this stupid... Language I work say.
or you could get better at Pokemon Gator. There's also that option. I don't want to. I, mean, I don't want to. I, I mean, that is an option. You could get better at Pokemon. I don't want to. I hate this game. <laughs> Why am I using... I swear if my... Then switch out. You don't bag. have to stay in with Mouse Pants. You can switch to another Pokemon. Fine then. I'll switch over to Pika Blue. It's six levels lower than... Thank you for not actually doing that. Is this a steel type or a bug type? It is a rock type. What the hell? How is that a rock? It looks like a bug, but it also looks metallic. You're kind of right. It eventually becomes part steel type, but right now it's just a rock type. Or maybe it is part steel in this early stage. I don't know. I just know that it's final evolution steel rock. That's all I remember, actually, I should say. I know evolution is stupid. No, it's not. It's actually pretty freaking cool. Speaking of cool Pokemon, which is an electric type, but it doesn't matter. You're higher level than it anyway. Did it beat up a kid. Yeah, you beat up youngster Timmy. You beat up Timmy Turner. You happy with yourself? Yes, Timmy Turner. Cosmo and Wanda are about to send you to the Shadow Realm. Good. I like it there. Have my spot reserved. Okay. Mm. How much time do we have to film the video? <laughs> I don't know. You have the timer built into the GBA player. Check that. 13 minutes into the thing. Yay. 13 minutes left, not into the episode. No. Oh, I that was coming forwards. Never mind, whatever. <laughs> Timers are stupid. Games are stupid. Pokemon is stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> uh, no I'm not, but thank you. I guess. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Ah, oh, it's that thing. You know what, I'm gonna catch this thing, why not? I mean, electric types can be pretty useful on, uh, teams. Usually I have an electric type on my core team whenever I play through a Pokemon game. Is this one a good one? Uh, yeah, later generations it's one of the Pokemon that ended up getting a Mega Evolution. Or, well, it's Final really? Evolution got a Mega Evolution. Just don't kill it. Ooh, it has static. When you touch an electric type, most electric types have this ability. Uh, when you hit them with a with a physical attack, sometimes you can get paralyzed off of their uh, staticky body. Good ability to have. Uh, the other ability that this Pokemon can have is Intimidate, I think, which lowers the opposing Pokemon's attack. Pretty good abilities for this Pokemon all around. Electricity using friction from the atmosphere. It seasons when especially over there. Its entire body blazes with violent showers of specs. That would be a fun looking game. Hmm. That could be tacky and name it after a character from my book because they have electrical powers, but I'm not going to do that because that's fine. Says the guy with. A name of Pika Blue and Mouse Pants. Hi. <laughs> Just name it after your book character. You can show your book that way. <laughs> I'm gonna name a comma. No. 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 <laughs> oh my God. You nicknaming a Pokemon Kama wants to make me put myself into a coma. <laughs> I'm a comma 
comma, 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 chameleon. You did that on purpose just to sing, didn't you? You did it. You did that just to sing of the song, didn't you? James is accusing me of things that's probably true. Kill me now. Kill me now. <laughs> oh, you're one level higher than the other one. Haha, uh, sucks for you. Okay, I'm gonna catch you, and you will be my team member. <sighs> what are you gonna name this one, period? Oh my god! <laughs> also, if you knew Pokemon, you could have actually made another Pokemon reference in the second line, because there's a Pokemon called Linoon, so you could have said, you can call me Poochiana because I'm crazy as Linoon, but you didn't because you don't know Pokemon and you suck. Well, thank you. Anyway, you should have probably put, uh, uh, what, what, Froggy. You should have put Froggy in front before you did this battle again, just so you didn't have to switch out, but... Whatever. Alright, you're facing Slugma again, a fire type. So, yes, switch out into your. Uh, I swear, I, I hate that there's a Pokemon on your team called Kama. I, I, it, it, may, it gives me an aneurysm. Uh, but, yeah, just use. I mean, you could also use one of your ground type attacks, but whatever. Just use a move, take it out. <laughs> the Kama the things make me think of that one. Um, pack strip where uh, <laughs> we love punctuation. Yeah. If we had up subtitles, that's probably what this episode title would be. <laughs> Thank God we don't have episode titles, cause I fear for all the lame titles you would come up with. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Come, it's time to shine. And this is why. This is why. <laughs> this is awesome. No, it's not. <laughs> what will Kama do? <laughs> Kill me. I'd recommend using Thunder Wave just to get guaranteed paralysis. Pursuit is a move that does more damage if you actually switch out your Pokemon when the opposing Pokemon uses it, and it might have killed Kama if you had switched it out, but you didn't. So. Good for you, I guess. Hi, Kama. So, because Kama because Grovile is paralyzed, it is a little bit decreased in terms of its speed, but it doesn't really matter when it uses Quick Attack, because Quick Attack has priority. So, just hope that it doesn't use Quick Attack and get more critical hits on you. Yeah! In your face, not Skizzard! There you go, you took down Grovile, and you still have one more Pokemon to go. Hey, Mouse Pants grew to level 20 though, so that's nice. The final Pokemon is a Wingle, which is simple, and too bad your comma fainted, because it's four times super effective against Wingles, but you know. Alright, comma. Froggy being burnt means that its attack is going to be lowered, which means it'll probably take a little bit longer to take out this Wingle, but I'd use Tackle instead of Water Gun, but okay. Next time, maybe. What was that? Use Water Gun twice? Okay. No, use Tackle. There you go. Jeez. Oh, another... Just <laughs> the Wingle critical hit you. Oh god. I don't have a burn. Better grab a burn heal. I don't wanna. I like being burned. Uh, um. I mean, to each their own, but, um. No? Stupid bird. Almost. Not done yet. Yay! There. 
there you go. Now you defeated the Wingle, which means you've defeated Brendan. I'm not reading the text. First later. try. Easy. <laughs> May, you trained without me noticing. Good enough. Here, take this. Okay, You've got, got item the finder. item finder. Now you can find hidden items more easily. Which, it doesn't really make that big of a difference anyway. That's an item finder. Use it to root around for items that aren't in, uh, that aren't visible. If it senses something, it emits a sound. Anyway, I'm off to look for new Pokemon. Cause mine suck! But not as bad as yours, Sid Melulator! Uh, too bad you can't get that item over to the left. You don't have a HM that can help you do that yet. Oh no, how unfortunate. Whatever will I do? If yeah, that's not that's not until like 20 episodes from now if you're lucky. Want to make a bed? <laughs> you don't want to make a bed. With I me. bet. I bet it'll take at least five videos to get there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do I have repels or anything? Because I don't want to keep running into these. I think things. you have one repel. I have two. That's twice as many as you said. You lied to me, you scoundrel. I don't pay attention to your items because I facepalm at everything you do in this game. <laughs> And it is going to be a double battle. Just enough to make it a double battle. Which kind of sucks, because they kind of bait you into making it a double battle because of the item being right there, but whatever. Anyway, you're facing a Psychic and a Triathlete. Psychics usually carry, spoiler alert, Psychic-type Pokemon, like the Abra that the Psychic has. And that Magnemite, uh, well, it's just... And your frog is still game. very badly hurt, because rivals in prior generations don't heal your Pokemon after every battle, because that is baby hand design, hand holding design in later generations. <sighs> the good old days. There's one thing I'll say I don't particularly care that much for about recent Pokemon games. I, they heal you way too much. Weren't you just like, yelling in this episode about not being healed? Or I, rather I that a, you were spawned at the Pokemon Center very, very close I, by I, to where you were. I hate that, that um, in this game, um, you don't get revives until later. I think that's, I stand by what I said. I, think, I still think that's stupid. But I don't like that. It seems like it's the opposite problem with recent games where they heal, heal you like every little battle and things like that. And you end up at the end of the game with like 30 plus. Okay, never use them. I understood everything you just said completely, and you weren't a robot. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep. Up. Oh. Well, you defeated the triathlete and the psychic. I like losing. This is so humiliating for me. <laughs> Loser. You really want to call somebody else a loser, Gator? Do I have to remind you about the rare candies again? Do I have to remind you about shutting up? <laughs> <laughs> nab nab berry trees. Nab nab berries are, I mean, they could be useful if you see the benefit that they have, but eh, they're better berries. I would probably look for a Poco Center area thing. You'll be heading into the and next city where the Pokemon Center is. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. 
You must throw your entire Pokemon to Gator, Gator, just <laughs> heal your Pokemon. What? Stop. Hey. Just, just it's adorable. Heal, just, just heal your poke. It's a pixel woman, Gator. It's adorable. It, it's pixels, Gator. Oh. Anyway, you skipped over an item heading into Mallville City. Are you not going to grab that? Okay, I guess not. Anyway, time's also expired, so that's going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Emerald Co-Star. My name is The James Rolls. My name is Lady Garrett to you. And you just picked up an X-Speed. Where's the Y-Speed? Not for another three generations, Gator. Alright, Gator, the Pokemon that you called not Skizzer, as you saw thanks to your rival battle with Brendan, was named Grovile. I hate your stupid face. Not you, the Pokemon. Although your face is also annoying too. <laughs> I can't wait to slap you. <laughs>